Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I bring uh, you all a speed paint on my most recent personal piece. Um, I know I'm a little bit late with this one, but I think considering that I am a one person team, this rhythm feels fine for now. I am doing my best to put out content for you all at a good pace where it doesn't kill me and I'm able to complete my checklist in a timely manner. Um, before I get into anything, let me sort of explain what I'm going to be working on for today. It's drying in commemoration of the new Chinese Lunar Year for uh, the Year of the Bunny. For this piece, I am drawing my OC's uh, Mitsuri on the left and Tomoe on the right with two bunnies accompanying them. I took a reference picture of my drawing mannequins to get the poses right. Um, and I normally sketch and trace the mannequins just to sort of have an idea where to put things and um, where um, the proportions and just the pose in general will be. It kind of looks off right now, but it will get better, I promise. Um, and I know that I sound a little bit dead. It's really, really late at night when I'm recording this. It's about to be 1 a.m. Um, and it's been a really long day. So if I sound a little bit dead, um, I apologize. I'm just tired and also allergies are kicking my ass right now. So we're just gonna make it through um, and we'll, we'll talk about things. Um, just getting the proportions was technically the hardest part for me. I remember I spent a few weeks at work during my lunchtime just tracing and trying to figure out the proportions for both Mitz and Tomoe um, since both of them have different body types. I was also trying to figure out how to fix some um, inaccuracies from the drawing mannequins that they inherently have. Like some of the joints on their limbs aren't the greatest, but what can you expect from a drawing doll that goes for 40 bucks on Amazon? I had to redo the tracing for a bit because I was still having a bit of trouble understanding where the hip and torso would be. And the thing with my uh, drawing mannequins is that for the women, the hips and elbows aren't the best. Sometimes the joints are really tight and sometimes they're really, really loose. And keep in mind, these mannequins are really tiny. They're like about four to five inches tall with a bunch of accessories. Um, they come really handy to start the sketching process simply because it's a good way to gather references when you don't know what to put on the Google search engine to get the image that you need. Um, I think briefly you might be able to see how I took the reference picture. I had to use a small little Chikorita headphone jack that I was gifted. Um, to figure out A, the position of Mitsuri's hand on the bunny and where the bunny will sit. It's also been a hot minute since I drew hands doing things, so it was a bit of a struggle trying to visualize how each finger will look and where the overall hand position would be. I've gotten rusty drawing hands just because my time um, it's a little bit more limited and now that I work full-time during the day So I don't really get as much time to draw or do studies because of how exhausting work is I don't get as much as free time as before so it's a bit slower for me to produce content for you all I am doing what I can to slowly spend some time to chip away at every project and drawing that I have planned So I really do appreciate the patience when it comes um, down to me producing work because I know I don't have a consistent uh, posting schedule. Like I said um, earlier, I am drawing both Mitsuri and my fandomless OC Tomoe, who is an Usamimi. Basically, she has bunny ears and is siblings with Nekuro, my other fandomless OC, who is a Neko Mimi. Um, she is the younger of the two by three years ish. I haven't really figured out her lower along with the other five fandomless OC I have since ages ago. I sort of just designed them and stuck to their design and haven't really done much updated with them yet. Um, I figured that Usamimi would be appropriate for the occasion. The last few pieces that I have posted have um, been using really dark colors so I figured I needed a change of pace to pick myself up from a really hard time. 
um, that I'm going through right now emotionally. It's been a while since the event happened, but there's still a lot of trauma that I'm working through right now to kind of feel better, but that's not here and there. I wanted to touch base today about my aspirations and goals that I have um, for myself to accomplish this upcoming year. Um, I mentioned to my patrons earlier in the year about some uh, new planner spread pages of things that I wanted to accomplish this year. Mainly, I wanted to be a bit more active in investing some of my free time consuming media that brings me joy or that I'm curious about um, as a form of um, self-care now that I'm kind of without a friend group to spend time with and um, do things together. So far, I have been doing a good job of investing into art and streaming a bit more often than before. I am trying to slowly um, work through some of the multiple projects um, for YouTube with catching up on uh, posting things. I'm also trying to update Patreon once a month or at least whenever a new artwork is completed so they're the first ones to know. Um, I also have been trying to be more mindful of my eating habits and so far that has worked. I have lost 3 pounds since I started the new year and knowing this makes me a little bit happier. I think I've also made a reading list of books that I wanted to get through in the year. They're a mix of manga books, fiction novels, and art education books that I also got from work. If you notice the trend here, I am trying to fill my time with tasks that will take up my time in a positive way to get rid of the awful loneliness that some days I feel. Of course, I am still trying to socialize and um you know spend time with people that i love but those moments with the remaining friends that i do have are not happening often which is fine i understand that people have their own lives to live and things to take care of um so i am trying to just kind of balance things out um so far i've been pretty good at completing the storyline for a few of my games which i'm really proud of because at the end of the working day sometimes I just need to unplug to recharge and maintain an okay move to be able to socialize. I really want to track the process that I'm uh, making with the passion planner and be able to maintain a good work-life balance that can help me on bad days too. I probably will do another check-in with myself about these goals in July so I can see how much progress I made in the past year. Therapy, for that matter, has also been helping in explore and touch base with some bad habits that I have formed and misconceptions due to trauma in the past that I haven't really had a chance to process yet. These things take time, so it makes it even more exhausting to function on some days because I am becoming more aware of things that are either uh, sitting and aren't seeing well with me or things that I need to work more just so the few friendships I still have can still work going forward. I hope by the effort that I put into this upgraded graphics on my Twitch channel and me actively trying to post things on YouTube that I can begin to have a dedicated community of people interacting with me and have an audience for future projects projects that I have planned. Um, one of those projects is to develop some stickers and do some test runs to see how to produce them. I think the first ones um, who will receive the stickers will be my patrons, of course, and some close friends who could potentially help me promote some of this as well. I have yet to figure out what designs I want, but I have been doing my product um, research with the market um, with sticker sheets that you can get out there in the wild. <laughs> so yeah now uh let me take a pause and sort of uh recollect myself and talk about the piece like i said earlier in the video these are my two ocs and for the coloring part i normally do a neutral gray background for checking my color swatches that i do to color in the characters that is a traditional oil painting technique called uh gray style so i just incorporated the same um for my digital drawings I normally prefer to color outside of the lines just because it's easier to clean up the edges rather than color up to the edge. And um, I only do that because of an advice that my painting professor 
in undergrad um, gave me. She said it's easier to clean up the edges rather than worrying about staying within the lines because of how time consuming it was for her and I totally get it. It's just easier for me to create um, edges rather than maintain clean lines. So I figured, you know, I'm just gonna try it this way. I also figured since Easter is coming up that I will use some pastel and summery colors. I really do hope that I did a good job with it um, for this piece. Um, I also want to note that um, I do have some um, other pieces that are in the back burner. I'm trying to um, finish um, going through some artwork that I have yet to finish and publish. So um, most of my patrons will get um, the coloring sheets for that, which is basically the line art, and also just to finish a piece before they go up on my rest of the social media. So if you're interesting, interested in getting some of that before um, the rest of the world gets it, then consider maybe joining my Patreon page. Most of the money and resources go um, into getting new materials, setting up the new art studio that I'm trying to build here in my house, and um, they also go into paying my subscription for Clip Studio Paint, which is the program that I use to work in pieces, and they also get some um, more extra information from me um, about what's going on in my life, how things are looking in the planner, so there's some small interactions that um, my normal um, art pages do not get from me so if that's something that's interesting to you and you are able to support me in that way by all means um, consider joining um, tiers go from a uh, dollar up to ten dollars um, right now so it's just a really small tip jar so if you are able to support me in that way that's great otherwise that's fine too you guys um, watching my videos and supporting me um, in any way that you can really does help um, going forward and um, I've also noticed that I'm trying to get a little bit better with um, drawing clothes um, and again because of how time-consuming everything is now um, I am trying to just slowly work at it so I hope that there is some improvement and um, of course some of the pieces that I'm going to be producing going forward might be as simple as just the characters um, you know just existing in the picture um, out in a color of, of background or um, they might have some complex uh, backgrounds with a setting the current piece that I'm working on right now that I'm sort of posting whips on social media for um, Instagram stories and uh, reels um, they're gonna be a little bit more elaborate with um, the backgrounds because I'm starting to notice that I'm really enjoying 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 um, just making backgrounds and just giving them a setting for them to exist in um, but yeah um, that's kind of what's currently going on with me um, there's four more speed paints that I need to work on and I'm slowly gonna try to get them done as the weeks progress um, I'm giving myself a two-week deadline for each one of these um, I usually write the script first just to kind of um, make sure that I have my thoughts together and um, have something to talk about so if you are curious about something um, regarding my um, art process or art making or anything of the sort that you're kind of curious about by all means leave me a comment and I can make it a video talking about that and just kind of elaborate a little bit more on my processes um, and how I go about generating ideas um, but yeah that's mostly what's gonna be on here uh, going forward with some videos um, for the next video, I'll be uploading the last commission I did for a fellow friend and cosplayer. Please stay tuned for it by subscribing to my channel if you feel like I've earned it. You can also click on the notification bell as well so you can be on the notification squad and you can be the first ones to see what goes up. Um, as always, a big thanks to my patrons as their kind support again helps me just get supplies and pay for the Clip Studio Paint subscription that I have for my iPad and also for the Mac that I work on. Um, 
as well as getting some extra perks like I mentioned earlier in the video, some progression on objects on uh, progression on some uh, projects and some behind the scenes. Um, there's also going to be a, a Patreon exclusive video coming up where we're going to be talking about bad art and how I feel about it. So if you're interested in seeing that sort of thing, please consider joining my Patreon. You can also support me with just a dollar a month to get updates. Um, but if you want to like get some more in depth, maybe consider at the five dollar tier. Um, and I'll be trying to be a little bit more consistent with it. But yeah, um, that will be all for me for this video, you guys. I definitely hope to reconnect with you all in my next upcoming video. It is my plan to post it in late March on a Saturday at 3pm. So I hope you guys have a good one. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Bye bye, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And again, if you feel like I've earned your subscription, um, you're also more than welcome to follow me on my social medias. They're going to be in the um, description below. Thank you guys. I hope I see you guys next time. Bye-bye.